Public Enemy like number one. The whole city. 3388. This is Barbara Young for the A-List, and we're up and close and personal with Bobby T. <laughs> now, everyone, if you haven't heard of Bobby T, then you haven't heard of Mr. Music Video himself since 1979. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much for having me. It's an honor to be here with you. Thanks. Oh, no, the honor <laughs> is all mine just to sit with you, Bobby. Oh, thanks, great. I, I, I remember the first time I saw you, you didn't even know who I was, yeah. but I knew. <laughs> I was like, I know that guy. I know that man. I was like, he has nice hair. Hair. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I've been lucky. Lucky, lucky is all real, you know. Since 1979. Yeah, sure is. Yeah. That's about and right. I was looking at, I was like, that's Bobby T. Yeah. And it just took back to, I mean, all these memories just came to me. Uh, when I talked to you, we were That's talking right. about what, dancing on air. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, I even went back, it's not going to tell anyone my age, <laughs> as far as Dick Clark yeah. and the Still Pier, Pier yeah. Show oh, I know it. in Philadelphia with That's that right. uh, Philadelphia sound. But you were here in the South right. since 1979. That's right. We've been on air since 1979. We started with the music video show, like I was telling you. It was a, really a college project we started back in Birmingham, Alabama. Right. And at that time, we didn't have any music video. So what I had to do is, uh, at first I've got uh, some of these, uh, uh, the uh, record labels and albums and things like that, and took video picture of that, still shots, and added an audio track to it. And we used that <laughs> as a uh, music video at that time. And then later on I came to some uh, VHS tapes, or back then it was a, on a real wide two-inch quad tape and three-quarter yes. inch tapes <laughs> of some of the old video footage of The Temptations, The Four Tops, Beatles, Beach Boys, and then we retract the audio. We did the retract and did some editing, and I came up with some videos. And I gave you a little DVD sample of some of the old videos with Michael Jackson and, yeah. and you know, back in 1981 and two and all that. They didn't even know what to call it. They called uh, exactly. it picture music. That's picture, what it was. picture <laughs> stuff. Look at this. picture stuff. And I, I, I was just cracking up laughing because it's funny just how time has flown oh, by. Yeah. Technology, we can't even keep up with it. if you don't have the latest. That's right. You're just not in mm -hmm. with it. And I, I was like, this guy is amazing. He is just yeah. an encyclopedia of knowledge. Yeah. You have just a dictionary of various or just a background of various people, entertainers you've met over the years. Oh, yeah. From small ones to the great of the greatest. Yeah, sure I, I went through your picture <laughs> album, the Bobby T, yeah. and I've seen I, Jerry Springer. Jer yeah, Jerry Springer. I, we've met up with just about everybody. You know, in 30 years, you can meet up with you know, just Any, about everybody. Prince, anyone. Prince and the Revolution back in the oh 80s. Oh, my God. You know, I had and, the whole purple outfit. Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, we went to his club in Los Angeles one right. year, man. He had a big club in Los Angeles and Carmen Electra and I, everybody was there and stuff like wow. that. But this was years ago, you know, and, uh, you know, people that know me, I always bring back some of the, you know, 10, 20 years ago because we had so much fun there. Now it's a little different and little too many different. problems in the world. You know, everybody's got problems in the uh, this and that, but uh, that's exactly why I do it because, you know, we had a better time back then, to be honest. I, as I was going through this, and I'm looking at some of the things that you've introduced to the music oh, yeah. industry that a lot of people now or newcomers or right. don't even know. Like you <laughs> said, at that time they didn't even know what to call a yeah. music video. That's right. Before sure MTV, That's what, that's exactly VH1, right. and BET, there was right. Bobby T. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we did, and you know, even up. Uh, at that time, I was hosted in the, some high school dances, college dances, and things like that. And we would bring big video screens. I had some 10, 20 foot video screens. We would play <laughs> the videos back then. And people, instead of dancing, they would just stare at the screens, want to know, you know, what it was at that time. And okay, now was that when we were? You told me about uh, with the karaoke, and they didn't yeah. know at the time what the call. Oh yeah, that too. Kar karaoke back in 1985, 86, we uh, tried some karaoke on television, and what it, karaoke is is, you know, you see the words at the bottom of the screen, and all you have to do is sing. But that t at that time, they didn't know what it was, and they just thought, you know, well, we know the words. We don't need the words on the screen, exactly, stuff like that. They, exactly. they, they didn't know exactly what it was until, you know, about five or six years later, I guess like 1992, 93, karaoke started coming over here more popular. It started over in Japan. And, uh, and uh, karaoke means em empty orchestra is what that means. <laughs> so it, it got popular and popular. And now you just, you see karaoke every bar and uh, club just about around the country now. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And we actually we see Bobby T around the country oh, now. Yeah, You're just, in how many markets? Uh, it's about ten markets. You know, we've got a, a big viewing audience up in New York and Los Angeles and uh, 
Chicago, Miami, Birmingham, Atlanta, New Jersey. New Jersey's a big area up there, too. But uh, yeah, we get a lot of emails. And I, like I said, I appreciate you watching. We just have a good time. You know, we try to bring back some of the old videos. And, you know, like I said, you, we play the new stuff, too. But we, what, keep, just, what keeps you going? Because I'm just trying to catch up to you. I was like, Bobby, <laughs> please let me, please just, I will oh, follow man. you. I will run out to your next place where you're uh, you showing know, and then just try to get an interview. What keeps you going? You know, I think the what it is exactly is the music. The energy is in the music. It's a yeah. universal language. You can speak to anybody, anywhere. And I've got friends in Paris and overseas that watch the show. They stream it on the Internet out of New York and Atlanta here, stuff like that. They watch it over there. Of course, it's like eight hours difference, but exactly. uh, they watch it. But it's a universal music, and the and the energy, especially when I'm out uh, taping shows, you know, at different events and things, you get the feel of energy, especially from the kids, the 13, oh, yeah. 14, 15, 16 year olds in high school. You get all the energy. So now you're tell me, up. I mean, do you prefer to work with the children? Is that what the youngsters, the teens, or you know, yeah. is that what keeps you going? All well, they, they got the mo young? they got the most energy now. Tell me you know, about you know, it. Except now, when you go to some of the clubs like here in Atlanta, you know. It, got to get out midnight you know i told you i said meet me at the club barbara said what time i said about midnight she about said what midnight, two o'clock i was like huh? i said that's where the line starts at midnight <laughs> exactly but, uh, but it's just the energy I, I feed off the music and the uh, right. the people dancing and exactly. you know, stuff like that it keeps you going it, ke it really does is atlanta your home is this now it is yeah we were born and raised birmingham alabama stayed on the air that was still on the air there for 30 years and Wow. But uh, then we moved here about five or six years ago because we had some satellite deals working on the show. The, up, the uplink systems are here in downtown Atlanta, so that's why we basically had a chance to, you know, just move on up a little bit. Now, um, have you? Are you here? Because when I caught up with you here, yeah. you were doing a show here. Yes. And how long are you going to be here before you up and fly out uh, again? I, I think I'm going to be here for a while right now. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's tough to pick up and go. You know, at this age, as you get up in age a little bit. <laughs> now, if I was a little younger, 20 years ago, I'd have picked up no, and gone you, now. you have one of those faces and just your persona. I Thank mean, you very just much. Thanks. Very humble. Yeah. And, and I think that's why everyone gravitates to you. Yeah. And yeah. it, it well, just thanks. keeps you young. And I'll be honest. I usually don't talk about myself. I mean, in 30 years, I mean, this is maybe one of the few interviews I've I've done, you know, saying a little something about myself and how I grew well, up. Well, you, you know, I mean, I, someone I really needs don't. to interview. T and tell me, and talking about talking about you, because yeah. this is what this is about yeah, in the A-list, right. and talking about A people in Atlanta. Right. And tell us about your Billboard Award that you oh, won. Oh, you know, at that time, you know, back in like night when music videos started hitting big, Billboard magazine had a big convention in Los Angeles every year. The Billboard Music Awards, you saw yes. it on television, yes. things like that. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, you had to submit a show to them, things and uh, you know, in, in different categories. And I won a couple of Billboard Awards, being the best That's regional awesome. syndicated show in the country. And, you know, that was that was great, man. At, at that time, you exactly. know, I, I said, all right, I mean, at least I'm doing something. <laughs> and, and doing it well. I mean, well, too, thanks, again, yeah. like I said, for someone you've survived, uh, you know, past a lot of the other oh, yeah. organizations you've been around and the, some of the best, you yeah. know, now there's the B BET yeah, and sure. MTV and VH1, but, you know, Bobby T has shown them. We had to do a different, you know, our format's a little different, too. We had to go with the changes, too. Back in, like, a 1991 to 93, 94, we were doing a lot of even country music video shows. And right. We do interviews with just about anybody. We, we don't uh, just say it's got to be a, a jazz artist or country or hip-hop, top 40, exactly. rock and roll alter exactly. alternative. Is anybody because that way you can stay in the business without you know I, I, I've got friends in Los Angeles and Chicago that had shows right. they were on for about a year because they they stayed on one uh, type of music hip hop or whatever it was and they couldn't branch out because they just didn't have the means to and exactly. you go off the air fast especially sponsorships you know you got sponsors watching you every move you make oh tell me about <laughs> it and that's you know some of the things that you like you said that have taken away that's from right. the, the fun because. So many people are focused on, you know, I have to do this and I have to say this and don't do this. And, and again, it all goes back to it's entertainment and yeah, it is sure. fun. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. And some of the things that we talked about oh, that you man. said you wanted to bring back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which, what, what, the bikini karaoke? Bikini karaoke. Oh, man, let me tell you what. what I, 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 <laughs> next time I'll bring some video footage. People think.